when you think of food that everybody likes, you know, you always, everybody always comes up with the same thing. You got ribs, uh, bacon, donuts, and there's no doubt that wings are on that list as well. I'd also be willing to bet that there's very few American men and probably some women that know their limit in the amount of wings they can eat. Mine's between 50 and 75. And the downside to enjoying wings or eating that many wings is you have to go out and get them by the basket sometimes at a crowded and or seedy sports bar. Well friends, those days are over. What's up y'all? Hey, I can assure you that the wings we're about to make are going to put a few places out of business. <laughs> Which is why I've got a good lawyer on retainer. That can be old Alexander Shinar's new, uh, new slogan. Eating wings and need some bling? Call me, Alabama! But just a quick disclaimer, uh, slash heads up on this. I use a pellet smoker, a Traeger, uh, not a sponsor. Maybe one day they will be. And uh, the pellet smoker for these wings to smoke them. But it can be done with gas, charcoal, um, you can do it in the oven. Put them in a, on a cookie sheet with one of those little raised racks. If you, put it, if you put it against a cookie sheet, they'll get kind of mushy and stick to it. But uh, the temperature, time and temp all works the same with a gas grill, a charcoal grill, and or oven. They just have to just keep the temperature up. And yeah, about the only thing that would be different if you did it in an oven uh, or a gas grill is it wouldn't have the smoky flavor that, that these wings kind of have. But other than that, the rest of it will be the same. I think the outcome will be fairly similar. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. Let's show you how to cook these uh, perfect smoked wings. Now I like to buy the uh, whole wing. You know, it comes like... You know, see my pasty white arm here, it comes with like an elbow, the drumette, the flat, and I guess the hands would be the, the little planger on the end there. You cut the wings right here at the elbow, and cut the flap off, and throw it away. Throw the little planger thing on the end away. And yeah, just keep the drumettes in the flats. Uh, kitchen shears or a knife should work just fine. I use the shears, and once you get them going, uh, you get your motion down, they clip just like, just like butter. Next, put about an inch of water in a, a big stock pot, and put your steam basket on top of it and bring that water to a boil. And once it's boiling, just uh, use a pair of tongs and tong your uh, raw wings in there, cover it and turn the heat down to about medium. You'll get about 12 to 15 per batch and try not to overcrowd too much. I didn't know about this method till a couple weeks ago. I saw Alton Brown do it. Well, I've been seeing Alton Brown do it for a few years, just never paid attention and never tried it. And then a couple of uh, articles came on the uh, social media that had links to Alton Brown's uh, videos and I looked it up and said, man, I wanna try that. And the, the purpose of it is to try to make the, uh, make the skins uh, crispy after finished product. Whether you fry, bake, smoke, or anything, it makes the skins crispier. Once the 10 minutes is up and they're steamed, just pat them dry with a paper towel and set them to the side covered and, uh, until they're all steamed and ready to go. Now just toss them in your favorite dry rub. This step's kind of optional, but uh, if you don't plan on using any sauce at the end, I would recommend using some dry rub just for some flavor. The dry rub I'm using is the kind I use on ribs, and it works really well. It works really well. I even, there's even pinches of uh, red pepper powder and cayenne pepper powder in there, and it, and it really sets it off. Now we move to the big show. Place the wings in a 350 degree smoker for an hour and 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Check on them after about an hour and 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and the skin should be golden brown and crispy. The meat inside is still going to be uh, really juicy and really hot. And once they're done cooking slash smoking, this is the point where you would toss them in your buffalo sauce hot sauce, barbecue sauce, but that step's completely optional. And I say the buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce step is optional because you can have my word that these things are fit to eat as soon as they're done smoking or cooking. Also, I'm not ashamed to say that if you don't use any sugary barbecue sauce or sugary dry rub, uh, our diabetic and keto brothers and sisters will absolutely um, eat these wings up, no pun intended. Now, if you're going to make these wings, you're probably not going to stop eating until they're all gone. So when all you have left is a big plate full of smoky bones, just to... Uh, Get down there in the comments and tell me what you thought about them. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. I put these kind of videos and other food-related videos out weekly, usually on Sunday. I post them to uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, of course YouTube, and on my website, thedowhat.com. So hit me up. Last but not least, big thanks for watching. See y'all next week.